never done a vision board before, which is strange for me because I love things like this. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy. If this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you like it here and decide to stay by hitting the subscribe button. And if this is not your first time here, welcome back. So today I thought I would get into a vision board, a vision board. I've never done a vision board before, which is strange for me because I love things like this. And I'm talking about like a physical vision board because now I've seen like people are doing like digital vision boards and for whatever reason every year or like every other year I'm like oh yeah I'll do a vision board that sounds really cool that sounds like something I will enjoy to do and enjoy doing and then I never do it before I know it is February and yeah I just never get into doing it but I love crafty things I love um, setting goals I love planning so a vision board just sounds like it sounds really fun and I think I'm going to get into it this year first of all happy new year I think it's still like the new year spirit is still high right now everyone is feeling positive I think resolutions are so important like there have been years where I've thought mm, you know like honestly I'll, I'll be honest in the past couple of years resolutions have seemed pointless but let's not call them resolutions you can call them goals you can call them habits that you want to build whatever it is you can call them you know aspirations or you know things you want to do whatever makes you you know the the, the word resolution it's kind of outdated in some way um it's kind of something that has he has a bad rap now everyone just thinks oh resolutions every year you make resolutions and then you never stick to them but they're very important so i'm going to say i'm making resolutions this year and even though you don't you know follow through with them you don't achieve all your resolutions or your goals for the year it doesn't mean you shouldn't you know you should lose hope or you shouldn't set any goals or resolutions so it's important to every single year even every month really i feel like every month you should set goals and you should like you know revisit what goals you've set it shouldn't have to be like at the end of every year so this year 2023 i'm going to make a vision board to you know visualize my goals and aspirations the things i would like to see in my life doesn't necessarily have to be things that I want to achieve this year. I'm definitely going to, you know, focus on things that I want to achieve like right now in, in this year, but they're just like, how do I see my life? How do I, what's the life I want to live? That's kind of what I want to do. And I think it's going to be fun. So I'm going to look for images online to put together a collage of something that I want to see every day. And, and it's right here in the middle of my space. And it's something that would, should be eye catching, something that I see every day to remind me of the things that I want to achieve. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just write a list, like just pour out my, my thoughts, everything that I want to achieve this year. So I'm going to start with, um, the first thing that comes to mind is drink more water. Sorry. <laughs> drink more water eat healthy food and snacks i want to exercise and i want to start journaling journaling um i want to read more books i'm not much of a reader but i want to get into it because every time i do i love it i enjoy it um i want to crochet more so now oops crochet doesn't have a t crochet i want to paint more so i'm getting into things that would make me feel my body feel better and would these are like hobbies things that would so downtime so this is not even work related it's just things that would help me personally all right, okay, so I want to work on my wardrobe. I do not like my clothes. I do not have enough clothes. I am struggling every time I want to go out um, to find something to wear. So my wardrobe, and then I think that's it for like, you know, personal development, well, like personal health and stuff like that. So I want to prioritize myself. I want to prioritize myself. This is a big one. And my friends, I want to really, really work on my friendships. And friendships doesn't only mean like, you know, my friends. Um, I also mean like all my relationships, all relationships. 
so i want to work on my relationship with my staff with my family um yeah just generally prioritizing myself and then you know making myself the best i can be and then having enough to you know give to others as well and then checking in on people making sure that the people i love are fine because um, I feel like I've neglected myself a lot in the past couple of years. I think I'll do a separate video on that or I'll talk a bit more on it later. I'm not sure. But I haven't really been, you know, giving myself enough enough love. And I don't think I've had enough in me to give to anybody else. So I'm going to do that. I also would like to travel. I want to travel more um, internationally, locally. It doesn't matter i really just want to travel i haven't been doing enough of that and that's tied to not prioritizing myself and just like letting time pass by and not you know even thinking of giving myself any joys in life so there's that um and then when it comes to my business so i want to i want structure in my business i want structure in my business and that business is kini yidu yeah right now i don't think i have the structure that allows me to have peace of mind so i want structure my business and i also want to set structure and targets i've kind of been coasting in my business lately well not lately for a while let's be honest this is the 10th year i've been in business and i feel like i don't have a handle on it um and i'm not improving like nothing is getting better so i want to work on that I also would like to hit, this might sound like a low bar, but I want to hit 10, um, 1,000 subs. Let's make it 10,000. Why not? I just almost said 10,000. So let's make it 10,000 subs on YouTube because I want to be monetized. So I'm going to say get monetized on YouTube. Um, I said I said 1,000 because that's the requirement to get um, monetized. But like I'm just gonna add another zero. I like that because you never know what could happen. So yeah, aim for the stars and you know fall on the cloud. So yeah, these are the things that I want to prioritize this year. So I want to prioritize myself. So all this kind of goes under prioritizing myself and this and this <laughs> and then structuring my business and hitting you know milestones in my business setting these milestones so that i know where i'm going and i want to look for images to represent these things to put on my board so i'm going to go to my computer now to look for the images let's go all right so i've come into good old google and i'm just going to put in so the first <laughs> image that came to that i wanted to look for is friends like friends the sitcom the logo Wait, friends, oh my god, friends logo. I thought that this image would be fun for to represent my friends and my friendships. So I'm going to open, okay, in Photoshop, I'm just going to open a new document for all my images. so i'm done these are the four um pages i'm going to print out and cut i'm going to cut them all out but this was fun like i really enjoyed doing this i actually enjoyed like talking through it with someone someone being you you're not here so i'm talking to myself but yay this is why i love youtube it keeps me accountable um yeah so you guys hold me to all of this so yeah this is the first page here so I have friends, which represents relationships, a book that I've enjoyed in the past. Um, this represents journaling. This represents um, drinking water and eating healthy. So fruits and by extension, when I look at this, I should think, okay, I should be eating healthy things. This represents exercising because I enjoy walking, not quite running, but this is just a representation of that. 
Next is travel. So I want to actually put the word travel there. I want to go to London. I and I don't want like a generic like an image of Big Ben or you know whatever. I actually want to put a representation of something that I miss and I love the London transport system. So I like this and I like that like a bit like this is clearly London. You have the red buses as well. Um, and then I have my goals for YouTube. So 1,000 or 10,000 subscribers. I, I I'm not quite bold enough to write 10,000. But I definitely want to hit 1,000 so that I can be monetized. Um, I want to go to the US um, mainly to visit family. Um, so I put this because this kind of represents like the different states I would like to go to to visit family. Um, and then this is Labadi Beach in Ghana. I want to go to Ghana. I went to school in Ghana. I haven't been back in too long, so I want to go. Next, we have um, my business. So can you do restructured? When I look at this, I know exactly what this means. It entails a lot, which needs to be broken down further. But this is a good visual, you know, aid to remember what needs to be done in my business. Dollars. I want money. I want to save in dollars. Um, yeah, because the naira is shit. Mm. I want to crochet more. I actually want to make products, not just like crochet blankets and stuff that. I mean, we don't really in where I live. It's not cold, so I don't need to make socks and things like that. But I really love you know crochet project um, products like this. And then I have like the words to represent like. Um, the actual things that are written on my list so prioritizing myself 20 orders a day this has to do with kinido so that's something i want to look at um to prog to monitor, monitor my progress in my business um read a book paint crochet so i want big bold words like just standing out and then these are two images so one is of myself when this was a day where i felt really good i was dressed in a way that i liked and i want to look at that and remember to so that is representing my wardrobe so and it did that i felt good and then the second one here is um a painting i did so there was a phase where i was painting a lot so this is a painting i did two Oh my gosh it's like three years now almost well more like two because it was like late 2020 so um i want to do more painting you know i love watercolor painting um yeah and then obviously the year 2023 i probably should write vision board but no i don't need to so yeah i'm going to print these and then make a collage vision board so let's go Here is the final thing. I'm very happy with the way it's turned out and it's really big and bold and yeah, I love it. I've left this side for like planning for, you know, I'm going to put calendars here and do like detailed planning for each quarter. So I'm really excited about this. Yeah, so the flow is nice. So we have travel and then this is the first thing, which is Ghana, money, I need to make money drink water, eat healthy, spend more time with your friends, more time with your friends, and, you know, prioritize your relationships. Kini Ido needs to be restructured. I want 20 orders a day. I want to get into my hobbies, which are crocheting, painting. This represents painting. Crocheting is here. Read a book as well. 
um watch less tv is what that means um and then journaling exercising i want to hit ten thousand uh, sorry i want to hit one thousand and i keep saying ten thousand so it's definitely ten thousand subscribers on youtube i want to look better and feel better and i want to go to london i want to go to the us and yeah that's about it all in a, in a nutshell this is a vision board to represent everything i want to do this year Thank you so much for watching guys. I really enjoyed making this and I hope you enjoyed watching. If you are inspired to make a vision board, you should. It's really great. Um, and please come back to let me know how it goes. Leave a comment and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.